Hello and welcome to this advanced tutorial on building mobile websites. Now I hope you got my email on using your own emulator and this is really just something you can use for clients. It's not really a true emulator. We're going to look at that in a minute. But this will allow you just to show the mobile website to your customers. And so all we do is enter in the URL and then just go add your mobile website. And here you can see this is a website we did for a solicitor. And so we've just built a very simple website. But as you notice, we've also added a map, out of Google Maps, and we're going to show you how to do that. And we've just added various information for the client. And you can have a look and see what it looks like on a Blackberry, a small droid, and a Nokia. And so as you can see, because it shrinks and fits, it will work on most mobile phones. Now let's get into some of the advanced techniques. And this one, I'm going to actually use Front Page rather than Composer. You can get a free download of Front Page, put the link underneath this video. But what we're going to do is have a look and just add some extra things. And as I said, you can actually do this in Composer still. I'm just using this Front Page because I find it a little bit easier once you learn all the techniques. So let's first have a look at how we do mobile video. Now as you can see I've gone to m.youtube.com and the reason we use YouTube is that things like iPhones etc don't actually like Flash very much but they will play YouTube videos. So let me just find one of our videos. So we just go search and here's the video here and if we click on that video we see here that we get a link called watch video now if we add that link to our mobile website YouTube has already made it smaller for us so I'm just going to go control C we'll open up our front page I'm just going to put the video in here so all I'm going to do is put in that link watch video I can go back and I could get this picture if I wanted to. I would download it to my computer and then enter it in here. Now this link here, if we go up to our link bar, which is the same in Composer, this is the link and they've already made it so it's mobile ready. So we just basically copy that link and we can now link that picture as well by just replacing it. And so basically now what happens is we have a mobile video that will play in the mobile phone. Unfortunately it won't work in our little emulator because it's actually going to look for the YouTube plugin on the phone. And so I found another great little product that will allow you to actually look at websites, check redirection, etc. And I put the link underneath here for you and I'm just going to open it up now. And here it is here. This actually runs on your desktop and is very good because it allows you then to see exactly what's going to happen on an iPhone. And so as you can see, this is exactly how it's going to look on your iPhone. Sometimes on some phones it will actually load the video in full screen. And that's the best way to do your mobile videos. And it comes with an iPad version and an iPhone version. And to get to the iPhone version, you just hit Control and 2. And it will allow you then to see your iPhone. By hitting Control and the arrows, you can also change the orientation of the phone. And this is an actual desktop version. And they have it for Mac and also for Windows. And so we can actually then go and check whether our sites are redirecting. So for example, here's Ross's blog for his website. And as you notice, it's not moving over to a mobile website. However, when we put it in the emulator, it will show us exactly how it works. 
and as you can see it's gone to the mobile website for him and it will work almost exactly like a mobile will work and so this is a great way for you to actually use it on the top of your desktop if you actually go into a customer you can also launch this and show them how their website will look as I said you can change the orientation and it will still look really good and you use your mouse scroll button to scroll there are no scrollers on the side you would tap and scroll on your iPhone and so it works very similar to an iPhone so I'll give you the link underneath the video where you can get this emulator it's a lot better than the one we've given to you because it acts much more like a true mobile phone so let's just recap we just go to the m.youtube search for the video we want to add put it in then use the link for the video and then depending on which phone it is it will then open it up as a YouTube mobile video and as you saw YouTube Facebook in fact most of the big sites are using shrink and fit system so let's say we now want to add in a map let's go to Google Maps so here we are at the Sydney Opera House and all we do is get this link and you can actually customize the preview and we want it small and here's our code now I like to open up a pad notepad and in this width all we do is change it to a hundred percent we can then add that into our page so let's just add that in now to add in things I usually like to put some X's just highlight it and go to split and here it is here and as I said you can do exactly the same thing in Composer it will show that map and now also it will shrink down to fit the exact map and you can get rid of this on the bottom here by just highlighting it and deleting it if they, you don't want it so that's how we do Google Maps and videos now another thing you can do is find a whole lot of scripts so this one I've got a toggle and this allows you to put a toggle in your mobile site and they're just Java scripts and you can find all sorts of Java scripts to enhance your mobile site very easily and so these are just some of the different advanced features you can use when building your mobile website once again we apply our 100% and our script to each each different area and that makes sure it fits exactly as I said if you go to things like m.youtube they are using the same system that we are if you go to Facebook as you can see they're using the same shrink and fit system that we're showing you now so I hope that helps and obviously there's a lot of other things we can do as well because we're just building these sites on HTML we'll go through and show you some more advanced tips later on thank you for watching this video and have fun if you have any questions be sure to get back to me Thank you.